guys and welcome to episode 5 of the 7 days to die survival guide. As you can see in front of me I have a box and it's called selling shit. That's right I have organized absolutely all of the storage in our base. I'm going to play a clip of how I did this just now. So here we are in the room that I'm going to use as my new storage room. I have used all the nails I have to craft these wooden storage boxes. They take 13 seconds each and they have a lot of very useful forms they can take. So with this particular one you want to hold R and you'll be presented with all of these choices including a doghouse apparently. Did not realise that was an option. But the one we want is writable storage box. Select that and it will switch to this. So I'm going to place all of mine down and I have one spare. I'm going to put this near the front door and that will just be for things I want to sell. So now we have nine storage boxes along the back here. How do we clearly label them so that we know what each one is for? Well, if you come over to the writable storage boxes and hold E, you'll see this option. You can click edit. For this one, I'm going to make this my materials box. All of my stone, my wood, my things like that are going to go in here. And then I'm going to come over to this next one and we're going to go for something like ammo. And then I'm going to label all of these and then I'll skip back to them. So here we are back with all my new boxes labelled. We have one for materials, ammo, medicine, tools, weapons, food, armour, clothing and parts. This is for things like rifle parts or shotgun parts or maybe like steel tool parts. And this is for anything I want to sell to the trader. Okay, now we're back. So this is how my inventory is now looking much better organised should be really easy, well there's no new weapons there, but it should be really easy to simply sort everything nicely into each box. So what are we doing today? Well ideally I would like to have the start of a base built, I would also like to have a mini bike and I have crafted the chassis and the handlebars. All I need are the wheels and all I need for the wheels as far as I'm aware is some acid a single bottle of acid and we will have our mini bike first of all we need to figure out where i'm going to build my base i think somewhere out in the grasslands over there relatively nearby but sort of out of the way of the trader there because that'll interfere with it so yeah once the trader opens i'm gonna get a job from him i'm gonna go for hopefully a clear zombies or a fetch quest and that way I can hopefully find some acid. So we're gonna get a job off of Trader Bob. How goes it? You got any close clears or fetches? He has a close fetch 300 meters to the east. I have a dilemma. Ah, decline. No need to apologize. I'll check my other sources. I want to get one that's a house. Friend, how smart I'll do that one. I look forward to seeing you. So I'll meet you guys over at that POI to do whatever job I just took. A fetch job. Hopefully with the restocking of that POI's inventory there is... Of course we're in the radius of the thing there. Hopefully there is a sink or maybe some kind of supplies box there which will have a bottle of acid for us because that is the only thing as far as I'm aware that's stopping us getting this mini bike. We have the engine, we have the lead car battery, we have the chassis, we have the handlebars, we just need another wheel. Now I haven't crafted the first wheel but I'm pretty sure I have enough components to craft too so we should be fine. Okay so we have a nice little house out in the woods here, it's a pretty, pretty clean looking house. There should be a lot of opportunities for sinks so that we can get some acid I know there'll be someone in the comments from the last episode, but this is recorded at the same time, by the way, that'll be saying like, oh, you can get acid here and you're an idiot. But as far as I'm aware, the most reliable method of getting acid is sinks. So you want houses. Now, what I'm going to do Someone mentioned this in the comments the other day there. I'm going to loot this house once before starting the quest because that will mean I can loot this house twice which will give me two opportunities to get the acid. 
Oh, and this one has the store shelves here. Oh. Knife is just so stamina efficient. I really do enjoy using it when I have one. Take that brass thing. Toolbox, come on. Ah, line, uh, wiring tool. I'll explain wiring when I actually have some kind of power source. There's no point explaining that now. I'd like to remind you there is a video on this channel about that if you are stuck on it though. Some scrap chest armor. I'll probably just sell that. No, come on. Oh, another one. Well, I'm just going to scrap one of these because you get a decent amount of iron from it, so I might as well. So I'm going to try and loot this house as quickly as possible, I'll go into time lapse mode and then I'll meet you outside to start again if I haven't got any acid. Another two chances of acid, come on. Yes, finally! Okay, so we'll be able to make our mini bike once we get home. But I'm going to clear this PY twice anyway, since I've already started the process. Okay, gentlemen, follow me. frame rate say right given my frame rate has gone back up to 60 i imagine that they are gone we're going to click to restart this poi and bring them all straight back i regret mentioning the bloody thing now eat a dog you're another zombie go away There's a wolf down that hill somewhere. Anyway, let's press E to just reset this entire POI. Oh, that's a frame drop. You should get a counter on screen for every time Prebuilt's PC fucking shits itself. Let's go. Another wrench. Oh, and two bottles of acid. That's just rude. Oh, 
<sighs> and I am done with this hellish nightmare of a POI. It refused to cooperate with the frame rate. So I will have just shown you the highlights of my second run round this, but let me tell you, the FPS issues were terrible. I'll meet you guys back at the house where we can make our mini bike and I'll show you guys how to use it. And maybe we'll get started on making our base, but I don't think we're going to get pretty far on that. So here we are up at the workbench, we just go for mini bike and here we go, it'll take a minute and 12 seconds. You can see you need two wheels, one mini bike chassis, one mini bike handlebars, one engine, one lead car battery. The quality of that lead car battery does not matter at all. So I'm going to take this crappy one with no health at level one and it will be exactly the same as any other mini bike. I'll be back with you guys when that's done. And we are here guys, you can see when you take the mini bike out of the work shop, uh, out of the workbench, you can place it. Now if it's red, it means you can't place it and that's because we're on uneven terrain or we're in the radius of the um, trader there. So you want to right click to place it down. Boom, there you go. Now you press E to get on it, but before you do that, hold E and you'll see all these options. The ones we are looking for here are storage. The mini bike has 27 extra slots of storage. That is huge. It lets you store a lot more and you can go out looting for a lot longer. If you want to refuel your mini bike, you come hold E again and press refuel. You can also open it. You can look at all the stats here and refuel it here and repair it here. It used for repair kits to, to repair it. It has 1000 health though, so I don't imagine you'll do that. So when you press E to get on, you can press X, do the horn, and you can press C to do wheelies. And then finally you can press F to turn the flashlights on and off, but my headlamp is on so it might be kind of hard to see. Also it's daytime, so we're going to head out to that garage place we found that had an engine, I forget what it's called, and I forgot to mark it on my map, but I'm pretty sure it's over here somewhere um, to the southeast. So I'll meet you guys over there once I have it. One important thing to note by the way is if you press shift you move a lot faster, but you also use a lot more gasoline. I think that's a worthy trade-off though. So, once my frame rate fucking gets a grip of itself. So here we are at this engine I mentioned earlier, and and all you need to do is hold on that, and you'll get your engine. Simple as that. Now we have one, I'm also going to take this down. We close this because I don't know what goes through there, and I kind of don't want to find out the hard way, so we're just going to take this, and then I'll meet you guys back at the base, and then I'll probably craft up a cement mixer and give you guys the absolute basics of that as well. And we're back and I'm just going to leave my mini bike right here. So let's hop inside and what will we make again? Ah yes, cement mixer. So we need forged iron, springs and mechanical parts. If we just come over to my materials box, which is conveniently labelled forged iron, springs, mechanical parts. And then we need to go to the workbench and craft this cement mixer. I'll be back with you guys when that is finished crafting. How many times have I said that this episode? And here we are guys, we finally have our cement mixer at the end of day 5, a little bit late but I'll take it, we got our mini bike in the same day. So how do you use the cement mixer? Well, press E to use first of all, you see there's just an output and there's just a crafting interface. You can't make much at the cement mixer but what you can make is pretty powerful. So the main thing you can make here is concrete mix, it requires one crushed sand, one small stone and one cement. Small stones when smelted in a forge can be crafted into cement and crushed sand is made out of small stones that you use in the cement mixer. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shift click this and then I'm going to get 218 concrete mix. That is 10, no sorry, yeah, that's, that's 10 reinforced concrete blocks or 20 regular concrete blocks. You see it takes every time. <laughs> You'll see that this is going to take a decent amount of time, so you definitely want to get as much of this as possible. That's why I'm concerned about the time we got this, and that's why I got all that cobblestone, just in case we can't get to concrete. So I'm going to tell this to mix this. 
And then I'm also just going to turn the rest of my small stone into crushed sand. And then I'm going to store my cement over here. Cement and small stone are fairly easy to get and there is a construction site there and over there. So we'll definitely be able to get a lot of these um, ingredients for cement. So we should be okay come horde night, but no guarantees. We also need a lot more iron because I've used most of it for forged iron. Which I'm going to craft a bit more of. Also, as you can see, I've crafted a claw hammer. The next thing I want to get is a iron sledgehammer because we need a decent melee weapon for the horde. And for that, I'm going to need a little bit more duct tape, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we're going to need at least one more piece of glue. So. We're going to need a little bit more glue, so I'm going to grab these bones and wherever I put all of my murky water and I'm going to craft those up into glue in the campfire. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this, but duct tape is made out of glue and cloth fragments. So I'm going to tell this to make as much duct tape essentially as I can get. So with this we'll be able to get 21 pieces of duct tape. That'll be enough to make the iron fire axe and the iron sledgehammer that I need for Horde Knight. So with that guys, I think we are done. If you enjoyed today's video, please be so kind as to leave a like. And if you're new here, subscribe to see more videos just like this. I also make tutorial content for 7 Days to Die. But with that guys, see you in the next video, bye!